Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is one that I've been super excited for for such a long time because we are going to be going on a modern day treasure hunt right from my apartment and I'm going to be taking you guys along for the ride. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this Nicodate solution on a bunch of old worn out buffalo nickels to try and reveal their dates and see if we can find something of value. Now, I've got about 30 of these buffalo nickels that are all worn out and have no dates showing and we're going to see if we can find some key dates that are worth a bunch of money. Money. For those of you who are new to coin collecting, this is a buffalo nickel. Buffalo nickels were produced in the United States between 1913 and 1938, and they depict a regal looking Native American man on the obverse and an American bison on the reverse, hence the name buffalo nickels. We'll ignore the fact that bison and buffalo are actually different species. And this is nicodate. Nicodate is a specially formulated acid that eats away at nickel, and we are going to be putting it directly onto our coins. Now we know that even cleaning coins is a huge no-no in coin collecting. So why would I be suggesting that we put an acid directly onto our coins? Well, here's why. Buffalo nickels were really poorly designed. The highest point on the coin, meaning the point on the coin that comes most into contact with people's fingers, with people's pockets, with other coins being jostled around in coin purses, is in fact the area on the coin with the date and the mint mark, which is just below where the denomination is on the reverse. Additionally, common date circulated buffalo nickels are not really worth that much, maybe a buck or two at most. I have a feeling you know where this is going, and if you do, smash that like button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Well, of course you guessed it. What we're gonna do is we're going to take that Nicodate solution, pour it directly onto where the date and mint mark are on the nickel, let it eat away at the metal surrounding the date, which is a little bit softer than where the date was stamped, and voila, we'll reveal the date and hopefully, hopefully, get something of value. These are the key dates that we're going to be looking for. And believe it or not, even after a coin has been technically damaged by Nicodate, some of these key dates can still be worth quite a bit of money. And like I said, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and stick around for more just like it by hitting the big ol' red subscribe button down below. I know that 75% of you watching right now are not subscribed, and you have the power to make someone's day, my day, with just one click of the mouse. If you click that subscribe button, you'll be doing a good deed for the day, and you can relax and watch YouTube videos guilt-free. Well, enough of this jibber-jabber and my shameless pleas for your love and acceptance, and let's get Nicodating. All right, so here are a bunch of the no-date buffalo nickels that I have been stockpiling. As you can see, when I say no-date, I really mean no-date. The area below the bust of the Native American is completely worn flat, and there is no way to tell what the date is without the Nicodate solution. On the reverse, right below where it says five cents, you can barely even read the word five cents, there's supposed to be a mint mark here, assuming it is a Denver or a San Francisco. Philadelphia does not have a mint mark, so in those cases we won't see anything, but we're gonna be nicodating both the front over here, the obverse, and the reverse on coins where we can't see whether there was a mint mark or not. So for instance, this is probably just a P, Philadelphia minted coin, so there is no mint mark. So this one will be just doing the front. So why don't we actually just start with this one right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a dab of Nicodate right here, and we'll see if we can get it to change before our very eyes, like it advertises on the bottle. All right, so it looks like the Nicodate solution has gotten considerably darker. And I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in this bowl of water as is recommended and clean that off. Check it out, let's see what we got. Looks like 1915. Can you see that? Right over there, you can see that the date now has come through. And the reason for that is because the metal where the date was stamped is harder than the metal surrounding it where there was no stamping done. So the date can outlast the acid while the surrounding area can't, so it reveals it. How cool is that? Can't believe it, we did it, 1915. Let's do the rest. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. To me, this looks like 1913, is that possible? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Look at that, 
I think that that's 1913. All right, so that was the first one. I think we either have a 1915 or a 1913. 1913 would be great, so please put it down in the comments what you guys think. But anyway, what I've done now is I've set up 15 of the coins. I've got about 30 of them, so we'll do the first 15 now, and then we'll do the second 15 right after. And now I think I've got a process. What I'm gonna do is line them up, put a little bit of Nicodate on each one, and then as they start to show dates, I'll dunk them in the water, and when we've got all of these done, we'll go and look at them under the coin microscope and see if we've got any hits. Let's do it. Now I know it's not good to re a date, so I wanna make sure that we get the date on the first try. It's a little tough to see. I can't see it under the nick date at the moment. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test one, dunk it in the water, and if it's good, we'll do the rest. 1919, all right, I'm gonna put the rest in the water. All right, let's check it out. First coin, 1918, not bad. Next coin, 1920, next coin, 1916. You can see that the date didn't fully show over there. Maybe that's an 18, let me know what you guys think. This one, can't see anything, I'll re -nick -a date that one. Also, can't see anything, we'll redo that one. You know, sometimes you don't get it, so you gotta redo it, but we'll try. This one looks like 1915. Interesting, we'll put that one off to the side to re-examine. Uh, tough to say. Next up, looks kind of like a 1918. Well, we're gonna try this one again. Next up, uh, that's a clear 1918. All right, next. That's a 1919 right there. Next, nada. We'll add that one back to the list to redo. Oh, that one's tough. Yeah, we'll have to redo that one as well. Man, a bunch of them gotta redo, that's a shame. Oh, this looks like a good one. 1923, I wanna say? 33 or 23? I think that's a 23, let's look at that again. Yeah, that's a 23 right there. 26, 26 could be a key date. Let's take a look at the back of that. Nope, no mint mark, not a 26S, that's too bad. And a 1917. All right, so these are the ones that we dated so far and I'm gonna put these off to the side. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to do the rest of them, re the ones that need to be re and then we're going to lay them all out and see the final total of all the different dates that we got. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this because now I can see a little bit better how to do it and I'm gonna line these ones up. We're going to nick -date these and then after I've nicotated these, we're going to separate out again the ones that worked and the ones that didn't. And then we'll re the ones that didn't work, see if we can get any dates off of them, and then we will do the final count and see what years we got, see how we did, see if we got any key dates, and really reflect on this awesome treasure hunt. Uh, if you guys do this, or if you guys have done this, please let me know and put it in the comments section so we can uh, all learn together. So it looks like I've got exactly 30. We did the first one on its own, then 15, and now we got 14 more. Ooh, that one's real clear, 1937. I think that one you could probably see a little bit of the date before we nicodated it. All right, let's check it out. First one, 1925 or 1923. Again, I'm gonna need your help. I think that's a 25. This is the one that was really clear. 37 for sure. That looks like a 17 to me. Looks like a 17, a little tough to see. Maybe we'll do this one again. That's a 15 right there. That's a 15. Is it a 15S? Is it a 15S? No, 15P, no big deal. Next, a 1919. We had a couple of those already. That's a 25. 
That's definitely a 25. Another 1919. That's our fourth 1919, I believe. 23. Definitely a 23. This one has some kind of like gloss or glaze on it. That's a 17 right there. That's a 17. That's the S. A 17S. 16. It's another 16. That's a 18 right there. Can't tell. We're gonna have to redo that one. And the last one. Uh, tough to say. I think it's an 18, but maybe we'll have to redo that one. All right. Now I'm going to reline up the ones that we've done already, but we couldn't get dates off of. And I'm hoping that it's not, you know, all lost and that we will indeed be able to get some dates off of these. But if not, it was worth the try, right? So, so far, I mean, we've got a bunch of really good dates. Let's do this and see how we do. One, two, better not sue. Who knows where that's from? Who knows where that's from? I'm wondering if it's better to leave it on longer or less long because longer it might eat away at the date itself, but less long might not give it enough time. So I don't know. I don't know. I am new to this. All right, let's get a Duncan. Last but not least, all right, let's check them out under the microscope, see if we got any visible dates. All right, first one, 1917. Unfortunately, it's the one with all the green crud all over it, but 1917, all right. Mm, I can sort of see a little bit of a date. I wanna say maybe 1915. You can see sort of the one, the nine, the one, and maybe a five. Again, I'll, I'll ask what you guys think. That one's definitely a 1915. All right, anything? Is it an S? Could it be an S? Oh, oh, it's a D. It's a D. You dirty dog. That's what D stands for. You dirty dog. Ah, that's the closest we've gotten to a key date. Let's check that one out more later. Nope, can't see anything on that. Nothing on that either. I think that's a 13. Ah, it's hard to say. Yeah, I can't really tell on that. Man, are we really gonna end like that? No. Let's see, maybe adjust that a little bit. I think that's a 15. It's a 15. Is it an S? Nope. And last but not least, another dud. Or actually, no, that's a, that's another 1915. Tough to see because of the contrast, but that's a 15 as well. Ooh, we're gonna have to do the back. We're going to have to do the reverse, oh boy. All right, so we're gonna see if we can do a reverse Nicodate and see if we can find the mint mark. Let's check that out. So it does actually look like there is a mint mark visible and I do think that it is an S. It's very, very faint, hard to see, and unfortunately we still don't really have a good read on the actual date. But I am happy that we tried this out and now we've got uh, another project for ourselves. All right, I know this is tough to see on the screen, but this looks like it's actually in 1914. So we are going to turn it around and nicodate this one as well and see if we can get a D. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. It is indeed a D. The mint mark is there. It is really, really hard to see on here. Believe it or not, I can see it with the naked eye a little bit. See if I can try and make it a little easier to see. But right down there below the E, you can see that it does have a little D mint mark. Incredible. You can actually see it a little bit better without the microscope. Check that out. It's a D. That's a 1914D. That is a semi-key date right there. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, well that really was a blast. That was so much fun doing that. I've never done it before, but I am definitely going to be stockpiling all of my no date buffalo nickels from now on. And if you like this video, I'll make more of them. And let me know down in the comments below, cause maybe I'll just buy a lot of like a hundred buffalo nickels with no dates and I'll just go through all of them in a massive video. So if you wanna see that, let me know down in the comments. 
If you enjoyed the video, again, do all that YouTube stuff, and please stick around because I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. But until then, stay tuned. Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much for your support. I have been absolutely loving talking to you guys in the Discord. Things have been so interesting these past couple weeks. If you're interested in becoming a patron, now's the time.